Hello, it's me, That Divination Witch. I hope you're all doing well. Now I am back with another witchy video. Uh, this is a personal video, I suppose, because this channel is all about sharing my experiences and what I've learned uh, to help you guys, I suppose. I am willing to share some of the lessons that Hecate has taught me and how working with her has changed the way I think and behave to an extent. So here are five lessons, five notable lessons that she's taught me. And if you don't know who I am, hello, my name's Sarah. I go by that divination witch online. I started off on TikTok by posting readings and then I've branched out here onto YouTube to actually share things I've learned, my journey in a down-to-earth, normal sort of way. <laughs> if you like that, please hit subscribe. And I've also got a link tree below where I've got an Etsy store and a Patreon. Both services you can get readings from me on. And on Patreon, I offer more hints and tips and advice, things like that. So I'd be grateful if you could check them out. If you're interested, the link is below. Thank you. Hecate's wisdom, five things she has taught me, five things she has opened my mind to. The first thing, number one, is to be open-minded. She has taught me to be open-minded, to see other opinions, to see other points of view, to learn conflicting opinions, conflicting information. And you don't necessarily have to agree with this information or opinions, but the importance of being open-minded and listening, even when you don't agree, is to, number one, see things through a different pair of eyes, see the world through a different lens. And number two, to understand to understand why somebody could possibly believe in something or think a certain way, to, to enlighten yourself, I suppose. You don't have to change other people. We shouldn't be wanting to change other people either. To each their own, no matter what you believe in or don't believe in, it's your life, no one else's. And to change someone else's beliefs to manipulate is is not okay. Uh, and Hecate is very much a goddess, I have learned, that is that doesn't spoon feed and will say to you, right, here's all the information, here's, here's everything you can look at, make up your own mind. For she promotes free will, she promotes problem solving and growth within yourself you know it's a way of you getting stronger more confident so yes the first lesson is to have that open mind uh, and it's more of an understanding point of view now the second lesson she has taught me is to never say never and I've mentioned this one before I'm sure on this channel but she has taught me time and again that you know you may feel a certain way right now you may think a certain thing right now but you never know what's around the corner. You never know what information you're going to be presented with, what experience you're going to have in the future, which could change your mind, your perspective, your opinion. There are certain things that I've believed in the past that I was very harsh on, that I was very, no, that's the way it is, and that's that. But actually, she showed me the, the truth and it wasn't like I said in the first point it wasn't in a a way of being like no this is like spoon feeding me the information and, and manipulating me into believing something it was like no here's more more points of view more information here it all is make your own mind up Sarah now I can give you an example of one such thing and that is angels and demons you know like a lot of us here I thought angels were the good guys and demons were the bad guys. You know, religious conditioning. A lot of people believe that, you know. But I was called to research these things more and understand more the origins of demons and the origins of angels. And a lot of these beings, especially 
demons were once gods in their own right, and I've talked about this before. Some of them were Canaanite gods, some of them were other gods. Uh, they were demonized because it didn't fit a religious narrative. And some of these angels as well, what are their origins? Because some are not just found in one teaching, and some are linked with other deities and other gods. It's, it's more complicated than we think. It's not as cut and dry, it's not as black and white as we may think. And that is the world, that's just one example that I can give you. But there were a lot of beliefs similar to that, that I was like, no, no, that's the way it is and that's that. Uh, and a lot of people can be like that, even if you try and be open-minded. She broke down my barriers in that regard. Uh, barriers I didn't always realise I had up. And now I enter into things more open-mindedly and benefit of the doubt kind of thing. I mean, even Hecate herself, I've worked with her for years now, but I'm still learning about her every single day. You know, if you asked me five years ago, who is she? I would be adamant, no, Hecate is just a Greek goddess, blah, blah, blah. She is not, she is more than that. And there is so much to her. She's such a complex, multifaceted being that you can't just pin her down. And it's not just her that is like that. A lot of deities are demons, angels, etc. So it's all about perspective, knowledge and intuition, discernment, making up your own mind. Third lesson she's taught me is that I am good enough and I am strong enough. One of those points we'll get onto another point but strength. Strength is the third point. She has helped me realise that I'm stronger than I think, that I can take on more than I realised I could. Now, she doesn't do this again it is in a way of forcing you to do things you don't want to do, but she will push your boundaries in a, in a way that makes you problem solve, realise that actually you can overcome a heck of a lot more than you think, than you give yourself credit for. This year for me, on a personal level has been one of the toughest years of my life. Last year was pretty tough as well, but this year has been very traumatic. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go into it because it's very personal, but things have happened that you can't even make up. I couldn't have predicted. <laughs> there have been obstacles thrown in my way. However, I've battled through them all. I've it feels like I've been through a wall of fire, <laughs> it really does, on a personal level. And now, coming to the end of the year, I feel like Mother is saying, look, look how much you have took on, look how much you have accomplished, how much you have been through. If I look back at myself saving three years ago, I was a different person then, I wasn't as confident, uh, I've talked about this in other videos, uh, I didn't use my voice as much, things like that. I didn't feel as strong. A, a older version of me would have caved in if I had to go through what I went through this year. I was presented with situations that I have dreaded before that used to be part of my anxiety and you know my worst case scenario kind of happens. Uh, well, the worst case scenario has happened this year and you know what? I'm here. <laughs> I'm alive, I'm, I've fought my way through it and with her guidance and her strength she has helped me do that. Uh, and that leads on to number four and then this will lead on to number five as well so resilience kind of like I've explained in the last point she has given me resilience that the fact that I won't give up the fact that I'm kind of like no pun intended a dog with a bone <laughs> if there is something that I want I don't give up anymore. Yes, there are times I need a break. At uh, time of recording, I've had a few days break. Uh, just, I, I think it's healthy when you're spiritual to take a step back sometimes and just do something that you enjoy just for the sake of it. You know, it's healthy to do that. But no, I am a dog with a bone and I am not giving up. You know, even this YouTube channel, growing an audience, grow, growing, you know, an audience to help people and 
thinking of content to make and all this research there's a lot that goes into these videos not just sitting down recording them and editing them there's also the research what do people want to know what what should i share what does mother mean and hecate want me to tell you guys <laughs> you know so again an older version of me would have gotten overwhelmed and on top of this you know i've had my personal life i've had to keep my personal job going and things like this so it's like working full time but then doing this as well and not having a break per se but I do it for the right reasons so I I don't mind you know I do it for you for Hecate and for me it's not completely selfless you know I do do it for me as well but I will not give this up and yeah I used to be more of a quitter, I suppose. I would get overwhelmed with goals. Like one of my dreams I've never shared on this channel, which I'm going to get back into, is to write a book. I've wanted to do that since I was a kid. And I'd, I'd literally plan a whole novel, get, get halfway through and then go, oh, <laughs> and, and leave it. Uh, there was never enough time. There was never enough energy. Stop making excuses and do it. That's what she's taught me. And then five, which is an amalgamation of all the points put together. And that is self-worth. Uh, so, you know, again, an older me, before I knew her, or even in the early days of knowing Hecate, I never thought I was good enough. I never thought I would be capable of having a YouTube channel, of helping other people, of giving anyone guidance or even a reading. I sell myself short a heck of a lot. I still do it to an extent. There are some things that happen and I doubt myself or I think, oh, is this cringe? Oh, am I wrong? Am I right? <sighs> no. I have just as much of a right to be here as you. And you have just as much of a right to be here as me. <laughs> and that's what I've learned with Hecate's help when i get a troll comment when i get a nasty comment or a criticism or you know something like that you know what you're entitled to your thoughts and opinions but that isn't going to affect me anymore it just isn't it used to uh, and i'm only human some things do slip through the net now and then but i'm going to share something with you guys so youtube has always been a dream of mine too even when I was younger. Back in 2011, I had a YouTube channel and back then it wasn't as popular and I actually got monetized and everything, but the requirements were so much lower then. I earned about five pounds, <laughs> but I thought, wow, I was only 21 and I was talking about witchy things and Harry Potter because yes, me being witchy, I've always loved Harry Potter as well. Uh, and I stopped. I stopped and it wasn't just because of the other points I've made about being a quitter it's because at that time there were friends let's say I had I used to work with and one given the age difference was 40 odd year old and I was 20 odd year old back then I used to have Facebook and they were sharing it among themselves these work colleagues these friends and laughing at me uh, and that was real like mean girl shit <laughs> and it made me quit now I've regretted that for years but I, I've never had the confidence to pick myself back up brush myself off and say go for it you know until Hecate entered my life and honestly this channel is for like I've said for you for me and her uh, but I feel like Hecate is very much helping me with my dream not just for her but for me uh, she knows this is a medium this is a method I've always wanted to do this and, and, and writing and helping people like I'm slowly getting there and yeah it's just this little end bit here I wanted to really share that story that you know what don't let bullies win don't let people like that win uh, it, now that woman who I've recently seen on online I've never seen her in the flesh since then but that woman let's say she's got a very sad life now uh, she has serious health issues and she's a lot older and she's got no family anymore kind of thing no partner 
is it any wonder if you're so negative and nasty you know <laughs> and picking on younger people just saying so you do reap what you sow in this life and just heck it is taught me that as well you know so i just wanted to share that little tidbit there that look no matter what your dream is don't let someone stop you and Hecate has really taught me that that's the ultimate thing she's taught me to not give up on your dreams to, for anyone or anything i hope this has helped helped show you guys that look Hecate, she can help you in so many ways realize your own self-worth and strength and resilience and she she really is the ultimate cheerleader i can't believe i've compared her to a cheerleader but she really is she wants to help us that have been bullied and abused and hurt she wants us to realize our self-worth and to prove them wrong and to rise up because that's what the feminine energy is about. The feminine energy has been demonized for so many years. It's our time. It's Hecate's time. Rise up. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Has Hecate helped you in any of these sorts of ways? You know, do you work with her? Do you not? Are you just interested? Are you curious? Any other god or deity helped you in this way? Let me know. I'm interested. I'm always interested. I'm all ears. That's my impression of ears. <laughs> hell anyways take care it was lovely to talk with you again and until next time stay safe stay witchy bye loves Bye.